we brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jesus said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Please be seated. Before we begin these sacred rites, let us call to mind our sins. We raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our faith that Kathleen and all who have died in the love of Christ will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are at peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet in their yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised them, or they will be greatly blessed, <coughs> because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as a sacrificial offering he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and in the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response in the psalm is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff. That give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me, all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled, trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Peace I give with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. The wound of me, the lost he be free, stay. 
gospel may our sins be blotted out in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These are dramatic words which our Lord gives his disciples on Holy Thursday, the day before Good Friday, when they had the Last Supper, when the disciples are consecrated as apostles, the future leaders of the church, and Jesus goes into the Garden of Gethsemane with them to pray, and goes to one side and utters that harrowing prayer, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass me by, but not my will, but your will be done. And he finds them asleep when he goes back to them. And then he wants to reassure them about the future. Because he knows he's about to be arrested and tortured and crucified. And so he promises them a place in heaven. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I go there to prepare a place for you, so that where I am, you may be also. And those words are not just meant for the apostles, or the disciples of Jesus, but for all of us as well. And when we give up this earthly life, this is not the end, but the beginning of a journey to another world, another place, in a wonderful and beautiful light in the nearer presence of God. And her soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. A eulogy written by the family, which I'm going to read. Our mother Kathleen was more than just mum and more than just man. She did more than feed us and clothe us. She was the cheerleader we needed when we went for a new job. Our encouragement in everything she did she cheered us on at every race. She was the glue that held us together at times when we were falling apart. She was our strength, our guidance, our North Star. Thank you, Mum, for always being there. You had such a tough life, but you never complained, even though you had so many reasons to. Even at the end of your life, your focus was to try and alleviate our worries. No matter what, we always came first. We have had to try and navigate our life without you here, but we will endeavour to honour you in all we do, Stephen and Denise, and from her brothers and sisters in Northern Ireland. We, the brothers and sisters and the extended family of Northern Ireland, are sorry we cannot attend, and we are with you in spirit. Kathy, we loved you in life, and we promise not to forget you in death. We hope to have Mass celebrated here at Lachor as soon as uh, today's date as possible. We will cherish your memory and pray for you always. May you rest in peace. Eileen, Maura, Anne, Seamus, Patsy, and Sean. Let us God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask you to save all his people, living and departed. For Kathleen, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, especially for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, Hear us, Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are assembled here to worship in faith, that they may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us, Lord, graciously hear us. Let's pray together for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's call upon the prayers of our Blessed Lady, who stood at the foot of the cross of her Son, Jesus Christ, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our sister Kathleen to be cremated in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to perfection and the company of his saints. May God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins. May Christ the Good Shepherd lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father. And may she be happy forever with our Mother Mary and with all the saints in the presence of the Eternal King. Kathleen, may the angels lead you into paradise, may the saints and martyrs come to welcome you as you join in, and lead you to the holy city, the new Jerusalem, and may you have eternal rest. Amen. Saints of God, come to her aid, receive her soul, and present her to God the Most High. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Mm. Amen. We have entrusted our sister Kathleen to God's mercy, and we now commit her body to be cremated, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies, that they may be conformed to his glorious body. Who died, was buried, and rose again for us to give me glory forever and ever. Mm. Amen. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church, living and departed in the Lord Jesus, to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal kingdom. Amen. Salve Regina. Mata misericordiae, vita dolce do, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos ex civis, file ebe, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ere do advocata nostra, in os tuos, misericordus oculos, ad nos converte. Ere tesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. Oh, 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 Clemens. Oh, 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 Pia. Oh, 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 Lucis. Vergo Maria. Ora pro nobis sancti dei genitris. Ut digni efficiamo permissionibus Christi. Oremus. Omnipotens et eterna Deus. Qui glorios et virginis matris Mariae, corpus et animum, ut dignum fili tui, habic aculum effici, macareto spiritus sancto proparante, preparisti dapit quius memorazione, latero eus pia intercessione, ad instibus males et a morte perpetua liberato, per iundum Christum dominum nostrum, Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy upon us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. St. Patrick and all the saints of Ireland, pray for us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. May her soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen.